I almost feel uncomfortable saying this, but a cure for type 1 diabetes might actually be coming into view. As an endocrinologist, I've gotten used to tempering expectations for a cure. I know people have been told a cure is 10 years away since the 1980s, and I've seen all the headlines where mice have been cured of type 1 diabetes 50 times over, but this right here is legit big news. So before we get into the details, keep in mind a cure for type 1 diabetes requires two things. Number one, it has to enable the patient to be able to make their own insulin, and two, it has to protect that insulin production from the same autoimmune process that destroyed the insulin producing cells in the first place. Number one has already been demonstrated by a company called Vertex, who have successfully implanted stem cell derived insulin producing cells in patients with type 1 diabetes, succeeding so much that those patients no longer require injections of insulin. But the big caveat was that they needed immunosuppression to protect those insulin producing cells, which is where this company, SANA, enters the chat because they've been able to show the first case of a human receiving islet cells or insulin producing cells that do not require immunosuppression. Their secret sauce is this hypoimmune technology that uses gene editing to modify transplanted insulin producing islet cells to help those cells avoid immune rejection. The study was performed in Sweden, even though SANA is a Seattle based company. In this specific trial, the insulin producing islet cells came from deceased donors, then underwent that gene editing therapy or HIP engineering to make the islet cells less susceptible to autoimmune attack. Then they were transplanted into the patient's forearm. The press release relays the results of this four weeks after the transplantation occurred and showed promising results in that now the patient was starting to make their own insulin and imaging and blood work suggests that those transplanted islet cells are staying alive and not being rejected by the autoimmune system. Now, before we get too carried away, keep in mind this is one patient's results after just four weeks, and it was intentionally designed to give the patient a limited number of donated islet cells, far less than what would be needed for the patient to fully regulate their blood sugars on their own. And that is by design, because as a first-in-human study, it's more of a proof of concept to show that the technology works, shields it from the immune system, and doesn't have any major side effects. And so far, there were no safety concerns and it does seem to be achieving that goal number two of protecting the insulin cells from the immune system. Now, while this study took islet cells from dead human donors, which would be hard to come by in mass quantities, as mentioned in the first part of the video, Vertex has demonstrated success with stem cell-derived insulin cells that could likely be produced in mass quantities. SANA is working on their own stem cell-derived insulin cells in a product called SC451. So now both aspects of that cure have actually been achieved in humans, although still in early proof of concept testing. This is super exciting. Let me know what questions you might have.